This is probably an example of two different mindsets of how to program something and how to utilize the machine to its full capacity. So this particular item uh, previously was programmed in such a way that instead of using the full capacity of the machine, it was sort of just using one side, one chuck, uh, and um, one uh, turret to, to process this job. Um, and that used to take a couple of hours at least, plus there was other, um, other, other parts of it that had to be hand finished, like uh, chamfers around here and, and back chamfers and that sort of thing. So what we've done now in this, in this time round is rather than the operator just uh, looking for an opportunity to do overtime on a job, we have a new operator that is more inclined to, to get the cycle times down on a job. Whereas before we, with you know, the right tooling and the right programming and using the machine to its full capacity, uh, such as transferring from one operation to another to the sub-spindle, and using both turrets, we've managed to shave a good hour and a half off the cycle time um, than what was previously done. Um, so there was a few couple of changes. No, it wasn't all just the, the, the way it was programmed. We, we spoke to the customer about updating some of the way that they um, would like uh, stuff produced. So we were able to uh, get a bit of, save a bit of time on um, features that weren't actually necessary. Uh, but having said that, um, we were quite surprised just how much saving we were getting per item uh, on this unit. Uh, and having said that, there's also, when we look close to the job, we actually can see that more time can be saved. There's still, there's still, um, um, more opportunity to reduce the cycle times even more, um, such as um, different features and, and different way and different processes and and and, and tooling, and optimal tooling. Uh, that um, a job that used to, you know, be on the machine for a good week and a half is now only two or three days. Uh, just gives us opportunity to do do more work and and put other other customers through onto this machine as well. So we're quite pleased about um, the way the attitude in the in the shop now is uh, is become that cycle time is far more beneficial to everyone than overtime. So here you can see there's a, a twin spindle machine. So the idea, the, the idea of this machine is you, you process as much as you can on one side of the job. Um, the, this sub spinder will, will come along, this, this, this turret will move out the way, will pick the job up, transfer it back to the other side of the machine. And whether you're using either turret or both, you can um, finish your process. And so you, you can finish your whole part in, in one go. So rather than just using one side, pulling the material out, put it on the thing and do the, do the batch and then set up again and do the other side, you can finish the whole job in one, oper in one operation basically. So this is why you, you buy a twin spindle machine to get that gain in, in productivity um, it's just sometimes when you have employees that are shy to use, you know, the, everyone's conventional and wants to use this side mainly, but there's no reason why you can't use both spindles. So it takes a little bit more practice and setup and, and uh, a bit of skill. Uh, but when you have uh, operators that are willing to learn how to machine, use the machine as, to its full capacity is when you, um, you have a very valuable employee indeed. So it, um, and, and it's just wonderful to watch. I, I'm still fascinated when I see these machines do what they're capable of and, and operate in the way that they do. You know, that's, 
It's what makes this, this industry fun to see these machines doing what they, what they can do. All the different tooling. So there's 80, 80 different tools that this machine can, can utilize. So you have your library of tools in here, which you can program for a job or you can program for several jobs. You don't, you don't necessarily use all of them for one job. Uh, so there's two carousels of tools to, to choose from. And they always stay set in the machine. You always kind of know where they are in space. You know, once they go into the spindle, you can use them quickly and effectively. Whereas the old method was, you know, you put the new tool in by hand, you, you, um, you find its offsets and, um, and calibrate it to where it needs to be, and then you start machining. But this machine has a library of it ready to go, so it just makes the task more easier. And you can do more complex, more complex components as well. For those who don't quite get the grasp of what cycle time means, cycle time is mean when you when you put the raw material into the machine, and basically until the the job is finished on that machine or those processes, that's the cycle time of that particular those operations. So that that so if you can reduce cycle time. You know, if you can take five minutes, for example, off each one of those, um, these components, uh, there's 30 of them, you've, you've saved yourself, you know, hours in, in, in time. So, and everyone knows time is money. And that's, and time is actually the most expensive part, apart from this one, which is material. Time, time it can be, is quite a, uh, significant part of the cost of the job so and that's and and time is also where you can make the most gains as well so your material is going to be pretty much the same as it was last time your, your tooling is going to be the same the time span of the job if you can reduce it down um, as much as possible um, uh, your hourly rate or your hours spent on it, I should say, is um, is is a, a large cost. Um, materials probably forty percent, tooling might be ten. The rest is time. So if you can if you can save time, um, that's where you can make the most money.